Well, good morning. We're back in Planet Crafter and we are back in the more relaxed world. We have spent a little time off screen working on a couple things. So let me drop this stuff off here and I'll eat the squash. I will grab a water. So, since I was thinking this might work, I started building some housing along this ramp that leads up to the land. So, each of them is three cubes so far, because I've run out of the iron. But one of the neat, well, one of the things I find neat is this one cube where I have put glass floor in, so you can see the water below. Uh, I mean, it's just kind of blue and shiny, but I thought it would be neat. Put a table and a couple of chairs there, and then, voila, you have a place where you could sit and eat and watch things swim by. It would be pretty cool. Of course, that would have to be some pretty strong glass. Anyway, like I said, we've run out of iron. So, I will have to continue building those later. Yeah, I don't think there's any iron left in here. I don't think there's any anything left in here. Nope. Oh, and... Reading the forums was useful. I discovered that you could put a platform next to the miner. And then you have a place to throw stuff until you're ready to transport it back to your base or whatever. And we'll take the rest of this stuff with us. We'll leave the aluminum behind. We have flowers growing out in the world. Ooh. I can gather flowers now. I can gather flower seeds. Well, that's neat. But I think I'm, uh, if I see any more, I'm just going to leave them for now. But that one has a nice multiplier on it. 350%. So, let's see where we are in our terraformation index. Shall we? Go up here. We are at 700, almost 713 MTI terraformation. We're working on trees. Okay, we're at the floor stage and now we're working on the trees. Very good. That's why I was able to pick a flower. Nice. So, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we're using up a lot of iron. We're even using up our titanium now. I don't think... I think we're still good on the magnesium. Yeah, we're still very good on the magnesium. And the cobalt. So we will drop that off. We got so much aluminum. We'll drop this stuff off in here. And let's see. Is it bright outside again? It is. I mean, there's just like grass growing everywhere now way past I mean past where I even planted any we'll keep an eye out for some iron while we're out here oh 
Little bits of water. Even this is, even this really dry area is starting to get a little water. Isn't that nice? Oh, iron. Yeah, while I was working on this, I had another one of those big, huge meteor storms. Whoa, there's more water out here. Lots of iron. Good. Because like I said, I need it. We're not quite done building those little housing units near the second base. Let's see if we have any iron left in this. Where is it? Oh, you can actually see the base from here now. Nice! of titanium and one little lone iron. Let's see, do we have anything in here? Nope, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Oh, and thank you to the viewer who pointed out that I missed a couple of the zeolite the last time I came out this way. I had thought I'd seen something, but I figured it was reflection. And it turned out that there was actually a couple more zeolite. And I also did discover where zeolite comes from. So the reason I wasn't able to find it sooner was because I was not far far along in the terraformation. So, when you're looking for zeolite, you are looking for, let me find them. Let's see if I can find one now. That's iron. Another flower. That's a volness. I'm going to leave some flowers up. It's just pretty. And I don't necessarily need the flower seeds right now. Oh, hi. Okay, I will take all of that. Thank you. These things here. Okay, so you see it kind of looks like a root. Well, the reason it looks like a root is it's a root. So when you get to that stage where you're in flora, or you're almost in flora, and you're working on getting to the tree stage, you'll start seeing those things that look like roots. And in the roots, you will find you will find the zeolite. So I thought that was pretty neat. We'll leave this aluminum behind. We need the iron a lot more than we need the aluminum right now. I'll save a couple spots in case I find some more zeolite. That's a big old storm, isn't it? Wow. And that's some bitter weather there. But it's getting better. 
everything in there. Of course, we have all that stuff there. Actually, this should go in here. Definitely have a lot of stuff to bring back. Still pretty stormy. You know what I bet that is? It's it's a meteor storm that's not quite able to get to the ground. While we're out here, we'll look around a little bit more. See if we can't go any further. Or if we're at the edge of the map here. Yep, we're at the edge of the map. As soon as you see that. And I should have known because I stopped seeing any sign of materials on the ground. So I think this is the far end of this side of the map. Well, that doesn't mean we're at the end of the map. It just means that we're at the end of this edge of the map. I think I've already cleaned that. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, hello. A tier 2 fertilizer. Um, more seeds. We'll grab the eggplant. Where is that located? In comparison to my little mini base. Okay. Wow. They're just giving me all the things, aren't they? So, what are we going to put in here? We're going to drink of water. That's what we're going to do. We'll put that in there. Um, we'll put the super alloy back for now. We'll put two of the iron back for now. Now we should be able to get the rest of whatever was in that. Let's see, so we can go up this way. Okay, yeah, well, I don't think it was. No, it wasn't this chest. It was past this chest. I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You know what? What's the least important thing in here? <laughs> Surprisingly, the aluminum. Okay. So yeah, this thing that looks like a twisted root is a root. Neat, huh? And under these roots, you're going to find your zeolite. So, I thought that was pretty neat. I still don't know what zeolite is supposed to represent, mineral-wise. But if it's coming from plants, who knows? <gasps> a super alloy rod. Oh, 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 I know I needed a super alloy rod for something. Oh, we're headed to base. Because I just remembered I also got the recipe for something else. I can't remember what it was. But it's time to find out. I'm wondering if that wasn't an actual meteor shower. And I was so far out that it didn't hit me. No. It, it would hit out there because there's materials out there. Look how green this area is starting to get, though. Is that amazing? 
I did get a new rocket I can shoot off. So let's go up here real quick. So I can now send up. Uh, where is it? Not the biomass. A seed spreader rocket. And I have the bacteria sample. I have the super alloy. I have the rocket engine. I have the tree bark. I just need the mutagen now. And the, for the mutagen, I need it. A methane cartridge, which I have not learned how to make yet. So we are going to... Uh, you know what? There's very little of extra we have to put away. So let's just put it away. Where did I put the zeolite? That wasn't in there. Wasn't it? Was it in here? No? I took it to the lab. That's right. And um, if anybody hears the meow meowing, say hello to Miss Carol. She has decided that she must let us know of her presence. So we'll put that there. We'll take the sulfur with us too. I guess the rest of it can go to the lab, but first off. Da -da -da, what else did I learn how to make? A DNA manipulator. Manipulates DNA to create new genes and we'll be putting that in the science lab so I'll need a super alloy a bioplastic a zeolite and osmium so super alloy bio lab. we have the zeolite but we need an osmium well, we have plenty of that too and then we need an explosive powder Hello, Miss Carol. She has brought me her toy, which indicates that she wishes to have attention paid to her. She is absolutely an adorable little cat. Where am I going to put you that you're not in the way? Put you over here. We still need the explosive powder, though. So, put the zeolite in here. Put the fertilizer, too, in here. Got plenty of water in here. Put the sulfur in here. Watch, I need the... I think I need the sulfur to make the explosive powder. Yeah, methane cartridges are needed for the fertilizer tier 2. For the mutagen. Explosive powder, 2 sulfur and an iridium. I forgot. I've never brought iridium up here to the base. Okay, let's go back, grab that real quick. One iridium. Because I want to see what this thing is going to make. Iridium. I'll bring a couple extra. In case I need them for anything else. So we'll put that in here for experiments. Eat. We'll drink a water. There. So we are full up. Go over here. We'll put it over in this corner. Oh, I need to make the explosive powder first. Duh. Alright, now we have our explosive powder. And we have a DNA manipulator.
All right. So what can we do with this bad boy? You just put the stuff in and research it. That sounds like a... Uh... Oh, red alert. Red alert. Here it comes. It's not the mother of all meteor storms, but it's a meteor storm. The mother of all meteor storms has these bright green meteors falling. And it's not uranium meteors, surprisingly. That just makes me think for certain that what was that storm that I saw earlier was a meteor storm. It just never reached through the atmosphere. Okay. Enough staring at the meteor storm. Oh, we have tier two food growers. So these are I believe they just grow stuff faster. But we have a ton of food growers now. We have 10 tier 1 and 4 tier 2 here. I think we still have 3 or 4 tier 1 growers at the first temporary base that is up in that shipwreck. And we have four tier one growers at the new second base. So we have lots of food production going now. People are not going to starve on my watch. It's too bad we can't like have a cooking station where we can make better foods. I know I'm probably asking for too much there, aren't I? Okay. And I gave a couple of these extra storage because, well, you're one person in space. You can only eat so much food at a time. I actually should bring the food seeds over this way, shouldn't I? Okay, let's make a locker for it. Food seeds. Okay. <laughs> All right, the food seeds. I'll fix that later. Um, what else did I get? I cannot remember. Oh, I learned how to make super alloy. That's right. But where do I make that at? Is it at this lab? Whoa, I need to put a light in here. <laughs> nope, it's not at this one. Definitely need to put a light in here. If it's not at that one, then it must be at this one. Ah, eight super alloys in aluminum make a super alloy rod. And what did I need the super alloy rod for? If 
I could even remember. I just know I, I wanted to make, there was something I wanted to make, but I had to have, well, that's a huge heater. I had to have a super alloy rod to do it. Was it the rocket that I wanted to make? Whoop. Might help if I went up the stairs instead of under them. No, I needed the mutagen. I wonder if the DNA manipulator makes the mutagen. What was the, the GPS satellite? <coughs> so I need to make, I need a rocket engine, which I have, two microchip compasses, an osmium and a super alloy. One super alloy rod. I have a rocket. I have an osmium. And you know what? I forgot what I should have written it down. Two microchip compasses. Okay. Two compasses. And we need to tinker her around with mutagens. But first things first. <gasps> Ooh. Can make a map information rocket. Well, we don't really need that. Yet. Two microchip compasses and learn how to make a mutagen. Okay. Two compass microchips. Two silicone, two magnesium, four aluminum. We should have everything we need to make the GPS uh, Light 3. Oh, and here we go. We have a shiny new GPS satellite. And five, four, three, two, one ignition and away it goes all right so We should be able to see a whole lot more. Yep, there's our, there's the ring. There's our base here. There's the shipwreck that's up in the rocks.
zoom in a little bit. Okay, so yeah, that's us here. It's too bad I can't go side to side, but still. So it does seem I'm right about the edge of the map. This seems to be the entire map. Now, I'd like to try making that other, the what, points of interest one, so long as it's not like, it doesn't give things away that I haven't found yet. Does that make sense? I don't want to have the game spoiled. But first, we will need to make a bunch more super alloy, because we just used up the last of it. Mutagens. How does this work? I don't know. I guess we just randomly put some stuff in there and find out. Maybe grab a water. I don't know, silicone. Grab a squash, grab a mushroom, uh, grab a bacteria sample. I don't know. So we're going to put random things in here and see if anything happens. No match found. Okay. No match found. So it's a, a game of whack-a-mole. No match found. No match found. Okay, so we have to learn some recipes. Or we're going to have to tinker with that for a while. I don't think anybody would need to see me do all that on screen. We'll figure it out. We figure a lot of things out here. Could put three algae in and see if anything happens. Nope, no match. Okay. Yep, that's something we're going to play with. But not right now. Alright. So we have some more iron. We should head back to the other base. I'll see if I pick up a little more iron on the way there. And I'm also keeping my eye out for rocks in my face. That was not the brightest move ever. <laughs> Any more of these roots. Because I notice they are starting to crop up over here too. If I have found one or two, I don't think over here. This is one of them. No, but it's a cute old rock structure. But I have found one or two of the roots out this way so far. So we'll check this. The iron. Thank you very much. We'll put the aluminum in. 
the chest. And we'll also take the cobalt. A couple of the titanium. All right, out, off we go. Oh, look at that, I just noticed the ring is growing plants. Neat. It's definitely turned into a nice little place to put a tiny base. Alright, so we want to put a second level on these. These are going to be some big housing units. And you're going to be bigger than, oh, I've run out of titanium. Bigger than the ones at the main base. Well, we have titanium in here, so that's good. back up now. <laughs> that one was coming almost directly at us. <laughs> Got a few more. Got a few more inbound. But the bulk of it is over now. Oh, is that more iron? Oh look, free iron. Of course this one now I have to go chase underwater. God, stop rolling. Oh, my inventory is full, okay. Well, that was fun. Now, back to building. We want That's right. We were also going to put one of these corner units here. There we go. Where did we put the front portion? Okay. So we'll want our stair or our indoor ladder right here. And no, no sense having one of these indoor units without having a couple of nice windows for it. Or 
Wrong one. Okay. Looks good enough. So, that cube's complete. And this would be a great place if, to have a railing and a door, make it like a patio. I don't think we have, still don't have the ability to breathe outside yet. There we go, got that one. Put our two cubes up. Cobalt? Say it isn't so. It is so. I don't think I need the silicone. I'll grab one of each of those. I didn't belong in there. We'll eat an eggplant because we don't need that much food right now. While I'm here, let's go look for some iron. We'll take the cobalt too. I didn't need the silicone, but I got it. Algae growing here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm surprised you can't gather that for food. It looks like some sort of space lettuce. miss that iron. Shame on me. Alright. Now what were we doing here? We were making a corner. There we go. We'll go ahead and make the corner for the other one, too, while we're thinking about it. Really? Now I need titanium. Well, fortunately for me, that was easy to find. Thanks to the very recent <laughs> meteor storm. More titanium. Okay. Nope. No titanium in there. No. Wow. I've gone through a ton of materials. How much iron do I have? Okay. I have enough to make a couple cubes. All right. 
Let's look for some titanium now. That was silicone. But we'll probably need it. Right, we got two so far. We almost have enough. Three, four, that should be all we need. to go on the <laughs> and I went underwater again okay let's try this one more time there we go how did we do it in this one okay so Oh, we didn't do it in this one. Which one did we set up already? Okay. It help if I remembered which one I'd actually... Oh, here. Alright. I need more iron. Am I out of iron? I'm out of iron again. Okay. So we need to go get more iron to put the stairs. We cannot continue to have more iron. We've gone through so much iron. Um, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh. That's a handy tip. So if you need to get all of something into a container or out of it, if you hold down control and click on the specific item, it will move all of that item. Well, that's handy. All right. We'll go ahead and pick these since they're Pickable. We'll put bean and a squash in here. We could turn that flashlight off too, can't we? We'll put the two eggplant here. There. We're going to have to get some storage units in here and get everything nicely organized. Of course, need iron for that. And I'm going through iron like there's no tomorrow. And you know what? I'm, I feel like taking a side trip. So let's go down this way. I want to see if any of those roots have shown up down here. See if I can't get a little more zeolite. Um, okay, I do have some oxygen on me. Good. In case I need it. Ooh. Ooh. This has changed. What the heck is all this? I feel like it's... Jack in the... Beanstalk here. Okay. We have some alien plant forms growing. Pretty sure that was empty. Yeah, it has a silicone in it. I'm not worried about one lone silicone. Some more flowers. 
and that is Orma. That's some iron. Got some titanium in here. We'll take those. Oh, that's so neat. I was expecting to see roots. There, there's a root. And a zeolite. I wasn't expecting to see these. Can we climb them? We can climb them. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Ouch. Ooh, that hurt. Okay. We can climb them though. Oh. Well, that's handy. Whoa. Hi. I'll take all that. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay, so if you click on it, left click on it, it'll actually take you to the top of where you're at. We'll have um, an oxygen. Oh, that's just plain fun. Hold on, let's go, let's go climb the rest of the beanstalks. Of course, we're going to get some ugly yellow storm. Sandstorm. All right, let's bring this stuff back to base first. Do I have any more space? I do. Another zeolite. And there's base. We already managed to grab three zeolite. You know what? I'm going to make another locker. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'll eat that. Thank you very much. Yeah. We've already outgrown this locker space I put down. I have a lot of organizing to do. Fertilizer, fertilizer, two. We're going to be taking some of this stuff back with us, but for now, drop it all off. And do I have any oxygens in my survival? Yes, I do. We'll go ahead and drink a water. You know, I did not even think that the, that area was going to be so drastically changed. 
I figured I'd find a few more roots and, and maybe a little bit of water, but I was not expecting all of what all of this. I'm especially not expecting these vines. That is so neat. Climb. Well, we have another flower. That's uh, Orama. Orama. Mm. Nothing else up here. Okay, so back down. It's so pretty. Okay. Let's go climb some beanstalks. Another zeolite. Another flower. I'm leaving the flowers alone for now. I kind of like the fact that they're growing out in the wild. see anything else up here nope to do a controlled fall, I will not break anything on the way down. See a light. I think that was the spot we were at already over there. I see flower. Okay. Probably have an oxygen. This is great. I love this. This is the one where I found the chest. Yep. I can see so much from up here.
Okay, I'm not being a tourist. why we came out here. Maybe we should be looking for it. <laughs> of course, there was no way I could resist going up the beanstalks. Of course, the last guy that did that found a giant who wanted to grind his bones into bread. I'm kind of glad there are no monsters on this world. So, we will head back to this base with our goodies. I'll finish up those little housing units off screen. Get some stuff moved around, organized. And next time, well, we'll go out and see what other interesting changes we can find in the world. And until then, bye for now.